All right, now we're joined by Chargers tight end Sean Colkin. And, Sean, thanks so much for joining us. Week four at the 49ers, the last game of the preseason. And, you know, I think this is a, a great story. You made the Chargers as an undrafted free agent. And a lot of people are talking about the lack of importance of the preseason. But for someone like you and a lot of players, uh, a lot of other players, how important is the preseason? Yeah, like you said, I think it's huge, um, especially for undrafted guys, you know. It's just an opportunity, you know, to show what you have to the team, the organization. So, you know, especially going into that fourth game, you know, a lot of those uh, older guys don't play as much. So, um, you know, it's huge. You know, there's a lot of guys that, you know, make the team because of that one game. Your head coach, Anthony Lynn, said something I thought was really profound. And that was, it's not always the best 53 that make the team, but the right 53. What about that message and what about the culture he's built that's, that's led to so much success with the Chargers? Yeah, I think, you know, like you said, you have to make the right choice to have that, that perfect right 53. You know, I mean, there's a lot of guys that, you know, maybe are incredible players on offense or defense, but, you know, they're maybe stacked to that position and, you know, it comes down to, well, who's better, who brings more value on special teams? Um, so, I mean, there's so many different factors that, you know, a coach and organization will look into. All right, we're going to have a little fun right here. Now, we know your nickname is Thor. Obviously, <laughs> kind of a, a giveaway right here. But yeah, we right. also know that, yeah. you know, ETV, you got a little reality uh, tale right here, <laughs> but it seems to really be blossoming into something great. Why don't you walk us through exactly what I was kind of leading you towards? <laughs> yeah, so um, it was at the end of the season last year. Um, Jen Rojas, our uh, works in PR, came up to me and asked me about this blind date, if I would be interested in uh, going on, and uh, it would be with one of the reporters from E. And uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, for sure, let's do it. So uh, it was around March, mid-March. Uh, they finally got everything all worked out and um, just went on a date. I knew it was going to be filmed, but what I didn't know was that uh, Jason Kennedy and Juliana Rancic were going to be in this like discreet remote van telling Zuri Hall um, everything to say. You know, she had a little earpiece in. So I had no idea until the end. Um, that you know they were telling everything, but I should have put it together to be honest. I'd be like, "Hey, do you know this band?" And she's like, "No, I don't know them at all." And then five seconds later, she's quoting all the lyrics to all the songs. So, uh, but it, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. And uh, the the current situation has worked out. Yeah. So I think, yeah, it's just crazy because you know, in the middle of it, we're kind of just like, "Wait, are, do we have chemistry a little bit?" You know, like I'm starting to be like, "Man, this girl's you know incredible." Um, so, yeah, we stayed in touch uh, for the next couple of weeks. And then uh, when I came back into L.A., uh, I took her out. And now we've been together for a little over five months. So, uh, right on. So it's actually uh, pretty incredible what happened from it. Right on. Well, congratulations on that. Appreciate you spending some time with us. And good luck the rest of the way. Hey, I appreciate it. Definitely. Thanks for having me. You got it.